Hi, this is Philip Byrne for Phonescoop.com, and today I'm taking a look at the Motorola Devour, which is a new Android device now available on Verizon Wireless. And it, it wouldn't quite be correct to say that the Devour is a baby sister to the Motorola Droid. They're definitely similar. They both run Android, but the Devour has a lower screen resolution. It's a slightly different processor. And as you can see, the external design is very different than the Droid. This is sort of carved from blocks of aluminum, so you get these very sharp, clean edges here on the ridges, and it's sort of an interesting look and feel to it. The battery here slides in sideways, which is sort of unusual. So you don't get that single back cover that you can remove, although you can stick the micro SD card in right here so you don't have to take the battery out for that, which is nice. And otherwise, looking around the phone, you get the micro USB port. You get a camera button. Here you have a voice activated dialing button for voice commands, volume, three and a half millimeter headphone jack up top. But what really sets the Motorola Devour apart is the Moto Blur interface. And Motorola has really put social networking front and center. So you get access to your Facebook, Twitter, your MySpace feeds, and the phone does a nice job of sort of organizing these all front and center. You get the happenings widget, which tells you what everyone else is saying to the world. And you can quickly scroll through status updates here. You can also set your status. And you can set your status on all of your favorite services at once. So if you want to send out a blast to your Twitter and your Facebook using the same message, Blur makes it easy to do that. Finally, you get incoming messages here too. So any messages that you receive on Twitter and Facebook will be unified here and you can get them right on your home screen, which is nice and convenient. Finally, you also get an RSS reader, which you can program with your own RSS feeds. And once again, it brings these stories right up to the front, making it easy to find without having to open up a separate app. Now, it wasn't all good news on the Motorola Devour. Instead of the Amazon MP3 store, you get Verizon's Vcast Music Store, and the Music Store just didn't work very well on this phone. It just seems like the software wasn't optimized for Android, it wasn't very sensitive to the touch. Also, songs cost $1.99, which is about twice as much as you'll find on the Amazon MP3 store, so it's too bad that they went this direction. The phone still uses the standard music player for Android, and it's not the most inspiring player, but it does have some cool features. For instance, you can quickly search for an artist, an album, or a song on YouTube or on Google. And then jump right to the music video. The Motorola Devour also gets the newest version of Verizon's VZ Navigator navigation service, and the new version really adds some cool new features. Besides just having a better look overall, you get some interesting location-based services, like it'll show you local concerts, theater and live performances. You can also get local weather. It'll even tell you where cheap gas is in your area. The maps on the new VZ Navigator are also much easier to follow and much better looking. They still don't perform exactly as I'd like. They don't respond to the touch and they're not the easiest to navigate through. Also, it's sort of strange that Verizon is offering their newest VZ Navigator service, which costs $10 a month, when Google also offers Google Maps on this phone with navigation for free. So you get spoken turn-by-turn -turn navigation using Google Maps for free right on the device. And here's navigation on Google Maps. Head west on Lakewood Drive toward South Meadow Ridge Circle. In 400 feet, turn left at South Meadow Ridge Circle. And as you can see, you get spoken turn-by-turn -turn directions. You get a good map that you can pan around with your finger. And it's a really nice feature, especially considering it's free and you don't have to pay $10 a month for it. 
So to show off some of that deep social networking integration, here's your contact list where you get a list of not just the outgoing calls you've made, but also Twitter and Facebook messages that you've sent. And it really helps you keep track of how you've kept in touch with someone. And when you click on an individual entry, you get that person's contact info, you get your history of conversation with them, and you also get a list of everything they've posted on Twitter or Facebook or any of the services that you follow. And that's the Motorola Devour for Verizon Wireless with the Moto Blur interface. For PhoneScoop.com, I'm Philip Byrne.